Hello Hoopers! Today I'm going to be teaching you the one-handed helicopter. It looks like this. So prerequisite to this move is a hand spin. So for my hand spin for the one-handed helicopter, I will be spinning my hoop to the left. You can also do this with your hoop spinning to the right. The only thing is, since my hoop is spinning to the left, I will actually be turning in the opposite direction. So I will be turning to my right side. So if your hoop's spinning to the right, you will find it easier to turn in the left. If you feel more comfortable with your hoop going to the left, you're just going to turn to the right. If you feel more comfortable with your hoop going to the right, obviously I'm not, <laughs> you're going to turn to the left. So again, my hoop is spinning to the left, I'm turning to the right. So let's do a quick review of a hand spin. It looks like this. So with a hand spin, you are going to start with your grip inside the hoop, your palm will be facing up. So I am going to, again, turn the hoop in the direction I want it to go. I will release, let the hoop roll over the top of my knuckles here, and then re-grip. So it just does one spin, and then you're re-gripping the hoop back at the starting position. So for the one-handed helicopter, you can get used to, go ahead and get used to that hand spin, but in order to make it continuous, one thing to think about is you can keep it going by shooting out your pointer and your thumb, and then you're going to continue to grip the hoop with your pinky, your ring finger, and your middle finger. So to keep it going, I'm just re-gripping. It's kind of like I'm shooting out. So I'm just re-gripping the hoop to just keep that momentum of the hoop turning. You can keep this as a drill, maybe before you start turning with your one-handed helicopter. Or, of course, you can just get used to turning and just re-gripping and holding it like this. You just keep it going, just see how I'm pushing. I'll also do a slow mo for this. I am continuing to push the hoop with my middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger. That is because my hoop is going to the left. If your hoop is going to the right, it will be rolling over your pointer finger first, so that grip will not work. I like to get into a one-handed helicopter is through a handspin. So if I do a handspin, you can just keep it going. And once you get comfortable with that, you can straighten out your arm, you can go a little faster, you can go a little higher, you can even just keep it down low. You know, just play with all the levels of this move. One of my favorite ways to get out of this move is going into a fold. So I'll do a helicopter and then I'll get my arm in there to go into a fold. Also do a slow-mo on that for you. All right, to get out of the move into a fold, it'll release over my pinky. That will be my cue to swing my hand down for it to land on my wrist to get into that fold position. And I will re-grip the hoop on the inside. So just grip, re-grip the hoop, then you're on an outside grip, and of course there's lots of things you can do with that. I hope you all enjoyed, and happy hooping!